repair the cup repair air 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 hello darling what about the air um uh, air airline airplane oh these are new words you're learning at school uh yes we're learning words about travel ah that's useful mm -hmm. are your teachers nice yes they're very nice splendid <laughs> what are you doing um practicing um the airplane you're pretending to be um Pretending to be on an airplane. Oh, that sounds like fun. Mm. Can I pretend too? Uh, please. My teachers want me to practice. Okay. Well, I can be the glamorous lady mm -hmm. at the check-in desk. You be the customer. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Stand here. Can I have your ticket, please? Here it is. And your passport? Here's my passport. Thank you. Do you have any bags to check in? Uh, I have this bag. That can go with you on board as a carry-on. Okay, carry-on. <laughs> now, darling, do you prefer the window or aisle? Um, sorry? <laughs> your seat. The aisle? Or window. Oh, um, I, um, I'd like the window seat, please. All right, here's your boarding pass. You will be boarding at 1020, gate 11. Have a nice trip. <laughs> Thank you. Good girl. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Where is your trip to? Um, Los Angeles. Well, then I must be the customs officer. Um, customs? When you arrive in Los Angeles, they check your passport. Oh, yes. Yes. So, I'm the gorgeous customs <laughs> officer. You're the traveler. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Name, please. Elena Fuentes. Can you spell that? F-U-E-N-T-E-S. Mm-hmm. What's the purpose of your visit? Business or pleasure? Uh, pleasure. I'm here on holiday. How long are you staying? Six weeks. Mm -hmm. And where are you staying? I always stay with Brad Pitt, of course. <laughs> <laughs>
The only difference between this verb and other verbs is the third person singular, has. He has a new car. She has a beautiful face. We have many friends. They have a big house. We also say, he has got a new car, or he's got a new car. They have got a big house, or they've got a big house. Okay, now, to make the verb negative, we simply add don't or doesn't before have. So, we can say, I don't have any money. You don't have time. She doesn't have a pen. Do you see? In the third person, don't have, changes to doesn't have. He doesn't have a girlfriend, but we don't have the book. In the interrogative form, we put do or does before the subject. So we can ask, do you have a pencil? Yes, I do. Does she have any children? Yes, she does. Do they have a dog? No, they don't. Although it sounds a bit old-fashioned, sometimes we also say, have you any children? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Now, I'd like to show you something I'm very proud of. Marmalade. Yes, I made it myself yesterday afternoon, and it's delicious. Would you like to taste some? Maybe with some toast and butter? Right. We use would like to offer something, or do you remember in the sitcom, Elena said, I'd like the window seat, please. Well, I'd like is the contraction of I would like, and we use it to express wishes and preferences. We say, I would like some tea, please. I'd like some tea, please. Would you like a sandwich? Yes, I would. Would you like a salad? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like to drink a gin and tonic at 10 in the morning. Would you? <laughs> okay, finally, I'd like to look at the English alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now, let's try spelling some words. I am Gabrielle. G-A-B-R-I-E-L-L-E. -E. We are studying English. E-N-G-L-I-S-H. My father's name is Jack. J-A-C-K. Can you spell your name? Go on, have a try. Well, that's all for today. Keep practicing that alphabet. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. You ready? Okay. I have not played the spectacularly beautiful air hostess. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Welcome to Johnson Airways. What's your ticket number, madam? My seat's 24D. Right this way, please. Is this your bag? Yes, it is. Please place it under your seat. Or, stow it in the overhead locker. Now, fasten your seat belts. Can I be the passenger? Of course. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Excuse me. Yes, madam. My headset doesn't work. Oh, have you got a newspaper? Excuse me. Can I have another glass of champagne? Can I see the duty-free catalog? There it is. How much is that in euro? Sorry, can you speak more slowly? <laughs> I'm tired. Traveling is tiring. Let's check you into your hotel. Okay. <clears throat> Good evening. Welcome to the Johnson Hotel. Good evening. I have a booking for tonight. Under what name, madam? Fuentes. No, Pitt. <laughs> May I see your passport, please? Here it is. Thank you, madam. Here is your room key. Your room number is 217, on the second floor. Thank you. What time tomorrow? Checkout is at 12 noon. Hmm. I'd like a wake-up call at 8.30, please. Breakfast is from 7 to 9. Thank you. Good evening. The TV doesn't work. Oh, do you have a map? Uh, the window does not open. Enough! <laughs> well done! <laughs> Thank you. Now let's get some supper. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. Are you ready for another super English lesson? Do you like traveling? I love it. And you probably like it, too. Okay, so take your suitcases and let's go. Today we are going to learn about the verb can and its negative and interrogative forms. I can sing very well. I can't play the piano, but I can play the guitar. Can you play the piano? Great, then we can play together. After that, we will compare can and want. Jade can't speak Spanish very well, but she wants to learn it, so she's studying hard. Then we will talk about the imperative and the negative imperative. Drive slowly. Don't smoke. Finally, we'll see the demonstrative adjectives this, that, these, those. This book. That book. These books. Those books. Let's start with Ken, okay? Agatha can have another glass of champagne. Elena can speak English. I can teach you a lot of things. Have you noticed anything unusual about the third person singular? Right! With the verb can, the third person singular does not use an S. I can, you can, he, she, it can, we can, you can, they can. Can is a modal verb and it means to be able. I can drive a car. I am able to drive a car. How about the negative and interrogative forms of can? Can I see the duty-free catalog? Can I smoke? No, you can't. The negative form of can is can't or cannot. And the interrogative form is can I? Can you? Can you go out tonight? No, I can't, but I want to. Can you guess what is the difference between can and want? I can go out means I have the ability to do it. I want to go out means that I have the desire to do it. You want to learn English. Let's practice it. Which brings us to our next point, the imperative. At the beginning of this episode, Agatha is pretending to be a flight attendant. She says, Please, place your bag under your seat. Fasten your seatbelt. It's usually better to use please. Please sit down. 
Please, give me that duty-free catalog. To make the imperative negative, we simply put don't in front of it. Can you think of what you can't do on an airplane? Don't smoke. Don't use your mobile phones, and so on. Finally, we are talking about this, that, and the plurals, these, those. This is a ticket. That is a wallet. These are tickets. Those are wallets. They are called demonstrative adjectives. Okay, I think it's enough for today. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Bye, and see you soon. Um, is that Britannia restoration shop? Can you repair a ceramic vase? Oh, thank you. Um, what is your shop? Mm, could you say that again? 19A Britannia Street, near King's Cross. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, what does tube mean? Oh, the train, <laughs> the underground, yes. No, could you say that again? Oh. Between King's Cross Road and Gray's Inn Road. Thank you very much. Um, wait, hello? Yes, um, what time do you close? Oh dear, six. Thank you, goodbye. I have to go there before my shift. Hello? Oh, hello, Chan. Yes, I'm looking forward to tonight. Uh, where do you want to meet? Queensway. Uh, what time? That's okay. I, I will come from work. I finish at seven, yes. Uh, how do I get there? Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. You sound happy this morning. Oh, yes. Good morning. Oh, can I have a cup too? Yes, of course. Are you going to meet Chong tonight? Yes. Uh, we arranged to meet at a restaurant in uh, Queensway. Oh. Do you know how to get there? Uh, I'm afraid of the underground. Uh, does the bus go there? Yes. You can catch the 928 going towards Golders Green. And then at Notting Hill Gate, take the 94 bus towards Piccadilly. And then um, you want... Mm, that sounds very difficult. Are you coming home after work? Uh, no, I'll go directly from work. I think you should come here and I will help you get dressed. And it won't take long from here. Uh, we're meeting at 8.30. Well, then take a cab. A uh, cab? A mini cab. A taxi? Oh, taxi. <laughs> taxi. Do you think Victor's having a good time in Brussels? Boulogne. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, I'm sure he is. Boulogne, yes. Mm. I adore everything French. Oh. Harold and I have such... Fond memories of Paris. <laughs> I would like to go to Paris. Oh, you will. Maybe soon. For your honeymoon. You know, Victor speaks fluent French. I need to find the right man. Well, don't look too far. <laughs> okay, I could I'm going to get dressed. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Hello. 
This morning, I read a very interesting article about how many people in the world speak English. A great many, believe me, and I am sure you want to be one of them. So let's get down to work. Our lesson today is about the verb could. We are going to talk about could, its conjugation, and its interrogative and negative forms. Could you repair a ceramic vase? Then you'll learn how to ask about something you don't understand. Could you say that again? And then the verb to want. Finally, we'll have a look at the verb to have to. I want to help my students, but they have to study hard. Let's start with the verb could. Our screen is going to help you understand everything. Could is the past of can, and it is used to talk about what someone or something was able or permitted to do in the past. In this episode, Elena is trying to find someone to repair. Do you remember what? Right, the ceramic vase. Britannica Restoration can repair the ceramic vase. Elena could go there after work. As in the case with can, you don't have to add an s to the third person singular of could. To make it negative, we just put not after could. You can say could not or couldn't. Elena could not repair the ceramic vase, or she couldn't repair the ceramic vase. The interrogative form is could you. Could you say that again? Or could you speak more slowly? These sentences are very useful when you don't understand something. Don't you agree? In this episode, Elena is having difficulties understanding some words. She asks, "What's a cab?" You can also say, "What does tube mean?" or "What does the word tube mean?" She is asking these questions because she wants to learn the meaning of new words. And this brings us to the next part of our lesson, the verb to want. Elena wants to repair the vase. I want to help you with your English. Notice that you say Agatha wants to help her, not Agatha wants help her. In this episode, Elena says. I have to go there before my shift. But let's see some other examples. You have to practice your English every day. I have to stay on a diet if I don't want to get fat. Hmm. And now I have to go because our time is over. Bye and see you next time.